Dr. Edith Humphrey is William F. Orr Professor of New Testament at Pittsburgh Theological Seminary. She also blogs and podcasts at Lamp for Today on Ancient Faith Radio, where she looks at uh, the Church's New Testament readings in light of the Old Testament. I was really glad for the opportunity to meet Dr. Humphrey recently, and she graciously agreed to sit down for this interview. So without further ado, I hope you'll enjoy this episode from my interview with Dr. Edith Humphrey. So the question of the female diaconate is obviously a really hot topic in orthodoxy today. And um, I probably am going to, going to talk about this in a way that will please neither side. Um, I, um, having done some reading and some research, but not enough, at, at this point um, at, uh, I've come to the conclusion that we, we don't know enough about what deaconesses did when there were, or when there was that order in the ancient church to be able to speak intelligently about how then that might be adapted today and whether it ought to be. Whether this is a small T tradition that was put away and put to bed for a reason, or whether it's part of holy tradition that should continue is, I think, an ongoing question. Um, I worry about the motivations of those who are pushing right now for the female diaconate. Uh, I know personally that many of them see this as a first step, and although that will be um, that will be denied by others, certainly there are some who think that ordination as a whole ought to be open to women. And my concern for that is that we're simply following in um, in the trends of the world. We're responding to pressures of, of egalitarianism today, and not understanding and not caring about um, what it means to have a specific Christian theological anthropology. So I'm concerned for the timing. Um, I would not be as, um, as knee-jerk in my rejection of it um, in principle, but for it to be at all helpful for today, I think we have to immediately put aside any idea of female rights, because rights is not a Christian language. I think we have to put aside the idea that this is in order to enable women and empower women to act within the church, because there are many ways that women can act within the church and have acted within the church. It, it seems to me that the kind of questions that need to be asked is, what could a female deacon do that can't be done um, by others. And there may be answers to that. There may be still in our world today some private spaces that women only want to share with women. And, and aptly so because of an apt shame. And perhaps that's something that the fem female diaconate could fulfill given the lack of, say, monastics, women monastics that we have today to go to for help. So possibly, if it's seen in, in, in response to a need, then maybe we can do the work and try to figure out what they were like in the past and how they might be adapted today. But on the basis that it's being argued right now, I'm against it. Hi again, hope you enjoyed this episode from my interview with Dr. Edith Humphrey. Please leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of this episode and please subscribe below uh, to get notified when new episodes become available, which happens every Friday. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.